pre-recorded episode of Come Town. I don't know if this will be a premium one or a regular one. Um, I've got a lot of furniture to buy this week, and so uh, we've got to. Uh, I don't know. We're just uh, you know what we got. We're getting ahead of ourselves, uh, getting ahead of the workload. And uh, my co-hosts are both in the bathroom. I'm here. I'm back. Adam's back. Uh, So, yeah. uh, I don't know. I don't know when this will go up. Probably what? Two weeks from now? Probably over the weekend. Why don't we do this when... We have a regular and then we we have a a premium. This is a premium. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, to give you a frame of reference... uh, what the big news today is Tom Brady was murdered. Yeah. 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 So we're reacting to Tom Brady's murder. Oh my you, God. I just heard about it. I can't that. believe it. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know who I think did it, folks? Casey Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. How's that for a reference? Whoa. I was saying today. She's you know, the one who killed her kids? No, yeah. she was found innocent. She's innocent and she's beautiful. I think she's innocent too. <laughs> White women have never done anything wrong if they're hot. <laughs> You know, I love when people do that. They're like, oh, if this is a white woman on trial, she'd get away with it. It's like, yeah, if she's sexy. Yeah. <laughs> she's got to be yeah, beautiful. If the jurors want to <laughs> fuck yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's got to be a beautiful woman. I mean, yeah. I don't, know. don't think that's we're just funny. letting people off the hook because they're white. I mean, sure, that's 90% of it, but <laughs> they're not going to let some Loch Ness monster right, off the exactly. fucking That final, yeah, for something like Casey Anthony where it goes to the like yeah. tie break, the tie break if, is if you're if, hot or not. Yeah, if yeah. a woman like Lindy had a baby go missing and I was on that jury, I'd be like, oh, yeah, she ate her. Guilty. <laughs> and the prosecutor's like, yeah, that's not even the case for me. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm of the opinion that she ate her. <laughs> this is actually just an insurance claim. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She ate the baby. <laughs> you Look, go, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, lady prosecutor, <laughs> but number one, you definitely should have not let me through jury selection. Uh, number two, can we get more Hot Pockets up in the booth? Yeah, no, I brought my own Hot Pockets initially. I know they were against the rules. That's why I had to bring my own. Now I'm asking you to refill them since I've already established a precedent. Isn't that what l- l- legal cases are about right it's precedent <laughs> jurisprudence yeah it's called yeah. juris whatever he said yeah mm-hmm. so i fucking i got the hot pockets in here I that's the, the law pockets. now you got to refill the fucking hot pockets i got a benson a bunsen you know burner <laughs> or i'm i'm gonna be on the other side of that table because i'm gonna rape you <laughs> i'm gonna be the one over there over objection objection yeah overruled wow. That's good. That was good. I like that. You, you should, added the courtroom flavor right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. There should be a law and order where it's like law and order zero research unit. <laughs> 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 well, I am the murderer, but if I murder a yeah. stronger man than yeah. me, it's not actually a crime. One day, me and Dana were like super hungover, and we were like, for whatever reason, looking at like riddles on her computer. Mm-hmm. And I remember just like lying on the floor of the room, and like she's reading them off the laptop, and she's like, oh, this, this one has a joke answer, but it's very funny. And it was, uh, what's a crime you can get arrested for attempting, but not for committing? And uh, someone has a joke answer, or I guess a serious answer, wrote, murdering every police officer. <laughs> 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 it's killing yourself, you see. Yeah. Uh, the answer. But I love murdering every police officer. Yeah. You yeah. get arrested for attempted suicide? Yeah, they don't just get no, you help. You don't get arrested. Yeah, no, you get arrested. Yeah, for trying to kill yourself. Yeah, if you try and climb, if you climb up to the top of the GW bridge. Yeah, if you're doing you. something fancy, but not if you just take a bunch of fucking sleeping pills. Yeah, well, it's a fucking riddle. Stop. Well, fucking that riddle's full yeah. of shit, dude. That's how I win my court case. Boom. As a prosecutor, riddles. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have riddles and you gotta have rhymes. I'm gonna be the next Trey Gowdy. Hell yeah, dude. I'm going to be the next fucking Johnny uh, Car- Cochran. Cochran. Yeah. yeah, Johnny Carson. Johnny Cochran. <laughs> Johnny Our Cochran. guest tonight is a uh, rapist, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I can't see that he did it because he's black. <laughs> Folks, I can't do Carson. Yeah, it was uh, sort of like that. What um, about, what's that Carson thing where he had like a, he, he had a card? He put a race card on his yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He rub it. We were a turban. The Svengali You thing? can't get mad at me. I'm Muslim. <laughs> I'm a Muslim man, so my client is innocent. He went jewel and feather. In that Jewel bit. and Feather. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Poobah. The Grand Poobah. Well, Poobah style. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't really know what's in the fucking news. I don't know, but this is like, this is so low pressure because we already we already banked two this week. Yeah. And then we're doing well, one of them's one. already out, so we one one already out. have one bank. We have one bank. I have something you can bank. Yeah. What My is that? Dick. Your dick? Bank it. 
in like your a ass, basketball, like a basketball. I shoot it up against your. What's butt the cheeks. backboard? Oh, the but your the butt, butt cheeks, cheeks are your are the backboard, and then my asshole is the and the then your asshole bucket. is the rim. So the rim. it actually would double bank from one ass cheek boom, to the boom. other. Boom boom, and then into my ass right into your ass okay that works <laughs> thank you <Yeah. laughs> it'd be cool it's like different this is a shark tank idea but yeah, like yeah. different kinds of netting you could put over your asshole so you could shit mm, you know through fun fish. shapes yeah i love it like fish nets or whatever oh yeah yeah i like like that. star shaped what was shit? that snl sketch where you like shove that thing in your ass and when you fart it like turns your farts into smart expressions <laughs> I don't remember what was that? that the wind wizard or something <laughs> i don't remember that now one snl is just like they just repeat whatever donald trump says yeah yeah and people and are like they they smirk. Smirk. brilliant satire yeah. <laughs> donald trump's like we have to kill all the mexicans and then alec baldwin struts out and he's like we have to kill all the mexicans and he's like, yeah dude this is great comedy okay yeah fuck snl dude yeah, except, except if they hire us. They said that uh, the one this weekend was good. I don't know why I brought it up because probably none of us saw I've it. I've never seen it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're laughing about uh, what if Trump just called uh, Melissa McCarthy. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Melissa McFat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just called her fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't see it, but she's a fat pig. Oh, I yeah, did yeah, see that. Melissa McFat shows. <laughs> <laughs> she's at it again. Um, yeah, you know, we got that fucking Super Bowl. What'd you boys do for the damn bowl? I went to Ikea. You went to Ikea? Yeah. What'd you buy? I didn't buy shit. Felix moved into a new apartment and he needed uh, needed gear. Oh, damn, dude. You So you got to go back for personal reasons now? Yeah. I went that to scope stuff dick. out, dude. That's Look, this is from my time as a tier one you operator. Cased it. <laughs> you cased Ikea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. You, you do deep recon first. <laughs> yeah. You send okay. one guy in with a fucking K-bar. Okay. A mm-hmm. canteen. A scout. A canteen filled with, you know, his own piss. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it's pre filled with your own, yeah, yeah. And, a, <laughs> and a kefia like a yeah. scarf. You have to wear a kefia and you have to like have the world's shittiest beard, okay? Yeah, all right, yeah. all right, all right. And that's how you become a tier one operator, mm. yeah. So Damn, I went there, I, I did a sit rep and cargo pants, yeah. Huh? Yeah, put stuff in. You need all those pockets. You need the pockets. I'm, I'm a big for knives. Yeah, They're probably I, I, need, the, I need pants. I need pants that make women say like, you know, what's he got in all them pockets? I bet his condoms. I bet he's got extra wallets. I bet that guy's got forty two wallets in his pants. Yeah, yeah. I'll be I'll be having cargo shorts for just for all the fucking lube I use to fuck yeah. bitches. You, yeah. I'll yeah. be I'll be fucking old whores that they dry as hell. You, so I sometimes I'll put like a fucking. Uh. Merkel whip in their pussies to kind of you know squish that Would shit they get up. A little sticky though after. <sighs> nah, yeah, but yeah, it also looks good because you eat the pussy and it there tastes like this, a tuna sandwich. There was this, oh, there was this nice. white kid that used to, to hang with all like the PG County black comics, uh-huh. and they made him fuck a prostitute one time. I just remember that. What? Oh yeah, white boy. They what? made him yeah, fuck yeah, a yeah, prostitute. Yeah, they made him fuck some black <laughs> prostitute. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that that guy Chad? White no, guy no, Chad? No, no, it wasn't Chad. He's like, the guy that go up on stage and be like, "See, I'm from PG County." He's like, you might not guy. realize Chad Huff. From- I, I forget his name. Yeah, yeah. he was. They like made a- it. Hold on, they made him fuck, <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, Chad. Yeah. They made this guy fuck a whore, yeah, yeah, an old did. black whore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did they watch? I don't know if they watched or not. Yeah, I just remember him telling me that he's like, yeah, they, you know, it's not for me. I, I guess I had to do it. <laughs> he, he didn't pay. It was like a gift. Uh, yeah, I think it was his birthday or something. <laughs> well, boys, my birthday's coming up, February 11th. Yeah. What so we're going to make that guy fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. For his for your birthday. Fuck. But we have to watch to make sure that it goes down to audit the fuck. To audit you know the what fuck. I'm saying? What should, dude, well, I'm trying to have a little birthday party. I'm trying to go buck wild. What should we do, boys? I'm trying to go buck angel. <laughs> I'm, trying I'm trying to, to go, go buck, buck angel. I'm trying, all three of us get pussies, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So for my birthday. Funny, <laughs> we just all get yeah. pussies. Yeah. We're all getting pussies. <laughs> if you're still male presenting, but like hooking up with a girl, you just pull it out. It's a pussy. You know, Adam, oh, yeah. did, we ever, did we ever talk about like that time we were laughing about like the like the four gay guys arm in arm going into the, the <laughs> sperm bank well like that shots, that, shots. that LMFAO song shot 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 I think I laughed for an hour and a half <laughs> straight an hour and a half oh, of just shit. laughing. <laughs> yeah. Shut, shut, shut. Everybody <laughs> everybody clap your hands <laughs> Just the fucking gay guy in short shorts with a, with a tray going around the sperm <laughs> bank. <laughs> Would you like when it's free? Yeah. <laughs> I thought about that again when I watched. I rewatched that video of Chris Chan <laughs> drinking his own cum. Oh boy, 
Oy. Well, this is this is for Ivy's eyes only, my sweetheart <laughs> Ivy. It, well, uh, I don't have any chocolate syrup, <laughs> so here's uh, I got some orange soda here. <laughs> well, mm-hmm, here's my cum that I masturbated out. Have you ever <laughs> drink your own drank your own cum? Absolutely no. not. One time I got hit in the eye with my own jizz. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah me too. I got, I, that's never. Yeah, happened. we talked about that. That's never happened to you. No, dude, I fucking I was. I was, Who, I was getting uh, jerked I've, off. I've, my I've, dick curves back. Yeah, first of all. Uh, people don't clarify that because I feel like a lot of people have that problem, that disfigured disfigurity. No, it's it's, it actually, that yeah, yeah, it's actually it's actually Phantom of the Opera. It's actually an advantage yeah, yeah. while having you should sex. Put, like a mask on. Yeah, it. like, actually, <laughs> I would first of all, I would love a mask on my dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would love half a my dick. A mask. <laughs> <laughs> have a little fucking opera mask on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that goes back to like talking about that half uh, half yeah. circumcision. It's perfect. My dick is the Phantom of the fuck para. Uh, yeah. uh, the fuck the fuck thumb of the puss para. That's sure. <laughs> the cock <laughs> the, I'll keep going of the, the, the of the twat per. Twat per is not bad. Uh, uh, the slam them. <laughs> the sla- <laughs> <laughs> the, the muff them of the cum para. Phantom. Fan, phantom. Uh, fant cum. Fan, the fant cum. Fant cum. Fan of cum. The fan the of cum. Of, of, of girl gay cum. Fat guy. No, no, cum. no, no. We're all cold, 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 <laughs> cold. We were hotter before. Of the. Of the anyway, the uh, fucked him of the puss para. Bopra. Huh? Get like bop. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get bopra. Get bop. Get bopped, bopped off. off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Get mopped. Yeah. Mopped off, bopped off. Brains. Topped off. Top, top off. Yeah, you can yeah. use all three of those. Those are yeah. great. How about the bottom of the top? Dome, brains. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. For the bottom of the top, right? It's a, it's a theater filled with all straight, or like tops. And then there's one gay bottom <laughs> who lives in the basement. <laughs> and he's bottom right? of the top. <laughs> 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 and he's tired of getting fucked <laughs> so he puts on that mask to hide and they're like we can still see you Eric and you're gonna get fucked later <laughs> he's like please leave me alone <laughs> the bottom of the top <laughs> see boys a little brainstorming yeah. session hey, well, that's wow. a pretty good one that's not bad Lauren Michaels yeah. sign us up <laughs> yeah we could be like the Lonely Island yeah. guys there was one time I was all drunk and I walked into my friend's apartment and he was watching Battlestar uh, Galactica, Galactica uh-huh. and I called it Faggle Star Fag Lack <laughs> yep, and that's still one of that's my crowning really achievements. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember right one time. I forget how it came up, but we were t- like me and somebody were making like t- joking about like China's best comedians. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> oh, so, I've done this joke yeah, before. Yeah. So it was like uh, the, the one I had for it was. Uh, uh, Louis, okay, number one, good job. <laughs> uh, uh, we were saying, like, when you know, to get exposure, they go on the radio show, uh, Slopey and Slanthony. <laughs> Which might be the most, like, technic- perfectly technically executed pun I've ever done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slopey. Slopey, Slopey and, and Slanthony. Because slant, you get the slant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It literally couldn't be yeah. any better. That's really good, yeah. man. Congratulations. Dude, you fucking man. Wow. Ripley's believe that or not, dude. Yeah. That was incredible. Ripley's uh, b- uh, believe that. <laughs> Ripley's believe that or not. <laughs> and he was Martin like, believe that. Um, wow. Wait, so none of your wow. cocks curve up? No. No. That's that good curve, dude. No, mine is You go straight. left? I go up and to the left. No, mine goes... Just straight out? Straight, 90, 90 degrees. That's good. Yeah. yeah. A couple you of too? straight dick boys over here. Sorry, stuff. Yeah, yeah you got that fucked up. gay dick. Yeah. No, dude. My dick... 14 I'll, inches long, completely yeah. straight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck, man. My dick is so man, small. It's only 13 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> dude, I'm uh, so embarrassed that's now. That's disgusting, dude, I, dude. Fucking, I thought you were going to say like uh, 13.75 or <laughs> is that what yours is? 30.9. And we're talking about soft, right? Because Yeah, hard. Because dick's 40 and a half. Half inches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you measure the head, I've said this before that I have a. <laughs> yeah, I don't measure the shaft because that's cheating. You don't put the shaft. Yeah, in. you don't put the shaft in the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> this is less nerve. I just, yeah, I just put the first <laughs> half of my head into a pussy. That's usually plenty, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Well, if it can fit, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I typically yeah. have to date some pretty big ladies. Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. pretty big pussy. Yeah. yeah. I usually just fuck animals. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that's. I mean, you don't want to abuse a woman. You that's I never be. understood. Like you know, like any time there's a a shapeshifter in science fiction it's like why wouldn't you just be big dick m- guy? like a guy that's like one foot tall 
and then use the rest of your shape shifting goo to have yeah. just the, the biggest dick, dick in the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just walking around Deep Space Nine, Odo's like 14 inches tall, and the rest of him's like a penis that just drags behind him. And he's like, Has anyone seen the security office, ladies? But don't mind me and my enormous dick. I'm just shape shifting over here. If you shape shifted, though, you could shape shift into any animal and fuck the hottest animal. You yeah, know, I could, but you can just also do that as a person that can't shape shift. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's, that's what it's being, true. That's what being an apex Human. predator. It probably top yeah. of the food <laughs> chain. Yeah, it probably feels better though if you're a hawk with a hawk dick to fuck hawk pussy. Yeah, what I want I is I want so, one of those you know? leather sheaths for my dick, and then have the hawk <laughs> land on it, and then I put the hood on the hawk. Yeah, and I just uh, stand there until I come. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I would, I would love it. That's a great, that's a great way to train your dick strength. Is get just standing on top bigger of a birds. Yeah. Just stand on top of a mountain with a condor resting on your erection. <laughs> Here we are, we're the princes of the universe. <laughs> that's how Freddie Mercury died, dude. Oh, really? Dude? Yeah. Fuck, I didn't know that. Sitting on top of a mountain with a fucking condor on his. He got all the way up the condor on his pecker. Yeah. That guy probably fucked out with birds so much. In terms of p- Freddie absolute Mercury? value of fucking, okay? Well, he was, get, he was struggling right. with his sexuality. All types of fucking. He might be the man who fucked the most. Why him? Because yeah, he, he probably fucked and sucked, dude. Yeah, I was going to eat it later, but... Right, <laughs> I'm not going to throw it out. He's dude, not going to throw, throw it out. Nick food. just asked if he could have uh, Adam's Chinese food. It's really good Chinese. There's no good Chinese food in my neighborhood. It's really uh, because it's a slaverhood, you know. That's where you go to have sex. <laughs> it's just sex. Uh, you can only order, yeah, sex from Seamless. I'm in a slaverhead. I'm in a pun mood. That's like such a good cop out for not actually doing anything on the podcast. Nah, dude. First of all, fuck them or whatever. Bottom of the top row is great. <laughs> yeah, that was and then that also was not a pun. But the visual, great. by the way, the visual of little bird, different birds <laughs> getting Messing on your on dick. Yeah, we're too. really yeah, yeah. we're doing great. Oh uh, yeah, I like bottom of the top row. <laughs> bottom of the top row is really good. <laughs> it That's makes. got real legs, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have a question. So these guys that are at the top of the opera, <laughs> yeah, right. That no, are they're just, all tops. Yeah, they're all. Well, tops, it's funny right? because it's an opera. So I mean, it's already the it's bottom of the top row. I mean, that's what an opera is. Right, so they, it's just an opera house filled with uh, with gay tops, yeah. right? Yeah, and they're just well, constantly abusing this one. Honestly, man. it doesn't Wait, really even have to be an opera. Four tops. Yeah, <laughs> 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 everybody think about that name <laughs> until now. Yeah. Uh, what are the four tops? Uh, uh, the other guy just unpacks the stuff and stays in the hotel room until we're finished. We're gonna be pretty sweaty after this set. <laughs> watching American Bandstand. They were like can't... a doo wop group, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, I'm on top. I get paused up. <laughs> I love to fuck men ass. Yeah. Cause I'm a gay top. That's what Jersey Boys is about, yeah. actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That's that. Uh, Jersey Boys is entirely for people that are like, oh, what should we get for our closeted grandfather that hasn't had the courage to come out? <laughs> <laughs> In the 80 years he's been alive. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's bring him to Jersey, boys. That's what our clearly gay 87-year-old grandfather would love to see. I love I those just, guys. He I fucking miss- sits there in the theater and remembers some boy he met in fucking yeah. first grade in 1947. Pool. Yeah. yeah. I just well, miss the war so much. <laughs> yeah. just They're both wearing the one-piece bikinis. Yeah. <laughs> one-piece rompers. At the time, uh, yeah. some other boy's hair brushed across his brow. <laughs> and the French Riviera when his parents <laughs> took him on vacation. Uh, it's probably that time he was, you know, the greatest generation over in Europe. Oh, yeah, just yeah. fucking French boys. With his platoon. Yeah. Well, no, not the boys, just uh, another guy gave him a look, you know, in the middle of the battle. Now, nah, like, you know, this. how much gay fucking do you think was happening in World War Two? How much gay fucking in happens Navy? in the army? Just in general. Well, the Navy's traditionally the gay one. Why right? is that the gay one? So I think you... Uh, it's because, you know, you're on a boat for it. They're like... They're just trapped on those boats forever. So, so they got to fuck each other. It's like prison. So do gay guys 
choose to that's go to the why Navy gay for guys reason? voluntarily go to prison. Yeah, that's yeah. like a fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's like just if a you, fuck if you well, no, it's like down. you know. I mean, and I'm not saying prison turns you gay, but the reason guys fuck each other in prison, it's like sure, there's a power aspect, but it's like if you want to fuck enough and you only have men to fuck, eventually you're just going to fuck other men. Yeah. It's not, they don't do it because they're prisoners. They do it because they're isolated. If you put, like, that's that's why Lost is inaccurate, which I've never seen. <laughs> uh, but Isn't I would, there women? There are chicks. If dude. I wrote, then they would be raped. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty much. Society would collapse. If you were lost, I don't know the premise of the show again, <laughs> but if it was an island where a bunch of people were trapped, yeah. they would start raping within the I first think so. 48 hours. I'd say 48 one, hours. one guy would break the seal. <laughs> Rape is super old. I mean, rape has yeah. been a long rape around. Rape predates consent. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Pre- consent is a Most concept. Likely. <laughs> no, yeah, it's no, it's true. It is, dude. Other I an- know what you're saying. I mean, other, like animals, <laughs> other animals just purely rape. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, like the idea that violence, like, there are, like violence is <laughs> What bad. are we getting at here overall, though? Well. Uh, We're just saying it's natural. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, somebody had to invent it. Had to invent rape or consent? Well, uh, consent. consent. well you invent both simultaneously. Mm, deep. Well, no, that's just no, it's how deep. it works conceptually. <sighs> but deep. yeah, I mean, like even the like you know morality and all these things, somebody had to come up with that. But you used to when you were a caveman, you could do whatever the fuck you wanted. Yeah, you know when you're that's, a caveman, that's when it's good. You could yeah, do whatever, dude, you'd, you'd could fucking wake up pussy. in the morning. The bird that was your coffee maker would you know give you shit, so you punch <laughs> it in the face mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Your wife's fucking hot, dude. Yep. <laughs> You know, you'd have a car, but you'd have to like yeah, use, use your legs. Your feet yeah, yeah, use your feet yeah, yeah. to move it. Yeah, uh, yeah, dude. What about the drive-through? You get a big ass brontosaurus stomach. Oh yeah, yeah that's tight. <laughs> <laughs> you get to see. Yeah, you. you slide down a brontosaurus neck to get to work. <laughs> so chill. Yeah, so chill. Uh, Simpson, Homer Simpson. You get to fuck a triceratops. Yeah. What uh, would have been the pocket pussy dinosaur? Oh well, chimps do that with frogs. Oh yeah, so Damn. probably frogs. Frogs, but like a dinosaur frog. You know, be a fun. That would be a cool M Night Sha- Shalamal. Sha- I, I don't <laughs> want to culturally in, in, insensitively say uh-huh. his name, so I want to do it right. M Night uh, sh- uh, Shamalai. <laughs> Shamalai. <laughs> yeah. You know the way local newscasters Shyamalan. would say it. Yeah, sure. uh, a, a new film by uh, M. Night Sh- uh, uh, Latino <laughs> is coming out this week. <laughs> a newscaster that tries to say his name gives up and just says Latino. <laughs> I remember once um, there was but, a newscaster. Well, that no, said, hold on. So here's the premise. It's an M. Night Shyamalan uh-huh. movie and where everybody's dying. And uh-huh. I'm like, what the fuck is oh, happening? It's and it's because the frogs are now, the frogs that everyone has uh-huh. sex with are sentient. And they're poisoning everyone's dick while they're masturbating yeah. in the frogs. Give me, a, give me a million dollars. I'll Starring Bruce right Willis. Now. If I had the million dollars, I would. The new M Night Shyamalan, you know, was Shalomal. pretty good. good. It was. I saw it. You theaters. saw it. You saw I saw it. In it was good in theaters. I don't know how it would hold up at home, but I enjoyed it. I want to check that shit out. Yeah. Well, I like that. I like uh, what's his name? James Vanderbeek. No. Uh, James yeah. Corden. Well, I like James Vanderbeek. <laughs> Is he in it? He's no. back, Dawson. No, it's uh, uh it's uh, McAvoy. It's what's James McAvoy. McAvoy. You I like knew him? it was James. Why, why do you like him? He's a good actor. He's I know people right. shit on that movie Wanted, but I thought that was a pretty good movie where they can throw the bullets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a cool Yo, idea. I love. I love Wanted. <laughs> it's stupid, but it's like it's that's really it's cool. a fun just, movie. Yeah. It was really fun. They it's curve like the bullets. It's like yeah. you curve bullets. Yeah, but that's, that's the thing. It's stupid type. and it knows it's stupid and it's right. fun. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's not trying to be. People can't fucking accept that out of films like that. I fucking loved. What's the big ass fighting robot movie? Uh, Pacific Rim Real Steel Pacific Rim oh. r- no. Ruled Pacific Rim Ruled Because yeah. it was like we, we know what the fuck this is It was yeah This it was, is like yeah. Godzilla The new Godzilla Sucked my fat hog you saw, like, Oh you no barely, It was really good dude No yeah, You barely no. saw Godzilla that's dude That's the point No get yes, out of here I want to see point. him fuck shit up dude, No because that brings it back To what Godzilla is supposed to be Which is sort of this no. like It's supposed to be Morally ambivalent run. Force of nature And it's like uh, You know it's it's more about environmentalism. Yeah, but there was and too stuff. much going on, and it wasn't that fucking. Tight. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I thought there it was, was a, great. I, you know what fucking, fucking sucked is that that 1997 Godzilla. Was oh yeah, great, great Puff, soundtrack, Puff Daddy. <laughs> great soundtrack. <laughs> that Puff Daddy what song. What song was that? Dun 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 dun. They yeah, just steal Cashmere. Cashmere. Yeah, yeah. They just get Zeppelin back for stealing from black people. Jimmy Page. It's. I think it's 
uh, Puff Puff Daddy featuring Jimmy Page. Really? That's how the song is built. I love that. And he's like in the music. Video. I love when rappers do that. Like Kanye so would, would be like featuring like uh, Daft Punk. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. With that song he just stole from Daft yeah. Punk, and then they're like, "This is cool." Or he would do that with featuring like dead guys, like dead soul guys. Oh, it's Otis like, Redding. Yeah, yeah, Otis yeah that Redding song had Otis. Nothing to do yeah. with you. Yeah. Well, that was like a that was like a, a an episode of Trailer Park Boys. Where J oh, yeah. Rock is like, you know, I mean, you know, what I'm saying like, uh, I got this album coming out, you know, and it's and it's just him like he's rapping over like the Chronic or something, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he's like, you know, he just adds himself in there and he's like just puts featuring. I was <laughs> 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 like, oh no, if they'd be too happy about this, <laughs> and he's like, you know, what I'm saying we collaborate now, maybe in the future, if they want to use some of my stuff, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Dude, that show's so good. That show fucking ruled man yeah. oh it's the best i felt all bad there was a picture like um of the dsa <laughs> yeah that dsa philly meeting and there was some girl that looked like <laughs> bubbles and i like screen capped her and i wrote on twitter like oh i don't know if this is all this communism stuff such a good idea ricky <laughs> <laughs> julian do you know about this <laughs> and she found it no and she messaged me and she's like i I'm, can you please take that oh, and no, i had to like dude. delete it yeah i felt awful that she's like i don't girl. usually look that bad <laughs> <laughs> oh, she found it. I thought Amber told no, you. No, no, no. Yeah, oh, the no. Oh, the girl found it. Found it. Yeah. Oh, it's all terrible. Awful. Yeah, I was you like, should. I'm sorry. No, and when she's and she's right. She doesn't normally look that bad, but it's like, yeah, it's a fucking bad picture. You look like bubbles here. <laughs> yeah. She was like, it was cold, very cold out. That's why my face is red. I I'm just like, feel Those bad. are all reasonable. She Sometimes should never people look have like to shit. Fucking explain that to you. Yeah. She should not have to. Does be she like, have mag like Coke me, bottle bully? glasses? <laughs> yeah. I, well, first of all, you do that shit all the fucking time. You what? make fun of people you see in public. Yeah. And, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I look like shit. Somebody posted a picture of me looking like shit. Do I get bent out of shape out of it? Uh, yes, privately. <laughs> and uh, pretend like it doesn't bother me until I take it out on you know, retarded people or, or minorities. And that's, that's the way you handle these things. That's, you don't go no, around right. joining communist organizations. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. We should keep making fun yeah. of. Uh, I'm uh, people. I'm locked. My Twitter account's locked. By the way, what happened? Yeah, but it's still up though. It's still up. They want me to delete the tweet. No, I just don't. I'm not doing it on principle. You're just gonna be okay. Cool. Yeah. What happened? Why the fuck did they? I don't cool, know. Well I think you know. I think it might have been like the the the, the Pepe guys uh, reported it on mass or something. I mean, there's plenty of people who don't like me. Right. I I just I don't give a shit. Right, really, right, right. Particularly. Fuck man. Yeah, you didn't really miss anything. The on only Twitter reason to today. be the only, like I literally I'm one of the people that got on Twitter so I could get writing work out of it in like 2011. That was like the goal and it did. So I don't really give a shit. Right, anymore. right, right. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Well done. <clears throat> That's um, us next dude, writing work for us, dude. We're about to be on thought. Catalog. You don't write? No, nah, I hate writing. Yeah. I hate writing. I hate doing work. I hate, oh, I like doing a stand up. Yeah, me too. Well, all I like doing is gaming. Although I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, back, I'm back in the swing of it. I've had mm -hmm. it. I'm, I'm feeling good about stand up. Again. I love it, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah. I like to. I like. Uh, I had a fight. I had to go. I had a spot at the standing room the other night and I got a lift. Oh, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck happened? <laughs> dude, that poor son of a bitch. He picks me up and then I notice like I keep hearing cars honking at us uh -huh. and he's driving like five miles per hour. Oh, God. And he keeps pulling over. He doesn't know what he's doing. And after like 30 minutes. Wait, he we, just didn't know how to drive? No. After 30 minutes, we should have been there by, at this yeah, point. Yeah, of course. And I look hour. up and he's going south on the BQE. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if, if any of you guys are confused about like the highways I'm describing, read uh, The Power Broker. It's uh, 2,000 <laughs> By Robert pages. Caro, yeah. It's 2,000 pages long and it explains, uh, it's like a, it'll explain exactly how these highways came about. <laughs> and it's a very good, not roundabout way to understand this story. Well, that's how I context. give directions typically. Yeah, yeah. Someone asked me where to go. Yeah. I hey, say, how do I get the, how do I get the bleaker? <laughs> <laughs> well, have you read The Power Broker? Have <laughs> you read chapter eight of The Power Broker? <laughs> yeah. uh, do you know Wall Street was originally a wall yeah for a <laughs> fort when i was a, when i was a teenager i would come up to i would come up to new york sometimes and uh if you just hang around times square someone will ask you for directions and i used to love just being like oh yeah just, if I just <laughs> send them <laughs> no idea what i'm talking about and then you go back down like 10 blocks this way and, <laughs> and you take a right and it'll be like a mcdonald's like make sure you find the mcdonald's and then at the mcdonald's you go like two more blocks to the left and that's where you're you're good to go. Uh, they be like, oh, "Thank you very much." <laughs> <laughs> good luck, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what, what we were in Times Square leaving Caroline's on Nick's birthday a couple months ago, 
and this like African dude that's like trying to get people to do tours comes up to Nick and I and just starts speaking Hebrew. Really? Yeah. What? To like get us to do his tour. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, what the fuck is, are you on he about? Looked at, he looked at Adam and he, uh, and he starts speaking Hebrew and, uh, and then I, the reason he started speaking Hebrew to Adam is not because he looked Jewish, but because he recognized his sneakers, my shoes, <laughs> Israeli, those boots, yeah. dude, which those is blood stones, which is it's great. Because my garbage. He's sneakers. stereotyping. It's a black guy this, stereotyping Adam. Meanwhile, simultaneously stereotyping himself accidentally right, 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 by right, making right. his entry point sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't sneakers. They're boots. Boots. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, he could tell that they were stolen. It was from incredible. The garbage. Actually, yeah. it was. It was. It was. You were yeah, you were in Walgreens. And we oh, were just right. saying I was lost in Walgreens. Should I get into? Uh, I think about getting into like origami or something. Why to get into that? Yeah, dude. Why can you make origami pussies? Yeah, to, you know to have a craft, something I do to calm myself down. Isn't oh, you know what I just is? got? I just got this single use condom thing from. Uh, you get them in vending machines in Japan. Phil, Wait, got, Phil got me one. He just went to mean? Japan. Single use condom. Okay, so it's like a it's like a lubri- it's lubricated on the inside and it's got like shapes and stuff on the inside that like stimulate your dick. Wait, and wait, you wait, just you like mean it's to beat off a it's condom like a sh- that you beat off into. Yeah, yeah, it's a beat off condom. It's like a jap. It's called a tenga. I haven't used it yet, but uh, I'm gonna jack off into it one of these days. I'm, what do you mean it's got I different really only, shapes? <laughs> I don't know. It's got like different like. <laughs> I haven't opened all it up All condoms yet. are one use. <laughs> what do you mean? No, no, no. That's why double I use. No, it's like a beat off condom. Okay, where it's okay. like lubricated on the inside. Interesting. And it's got shapes. I don't know. <laughs> what that's do what mean? Phil said. I don't know. I didn't like, use wow, it. Like hard stars and horseshoes and clovers <laughs> yeah. and blue. I think like you know squares and geometric shit that nice, like man. stimulates your rod. And we'll beat it off and see what it, what happens. No, no. I mean, it's from Japan. My dick would be <laughs> just immediately come. Just way, way too big. It's for what teaching. You it's for teaching come. middle schoolers how to like how to enjoy you know geometry and shit. <laughs> That's how it has to be done. Yeah, to fuck this condom and tell me what the Dude, fuck. You know how school would probably be a lot more successful if there was always if a pornography element. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, it would be the collapse of society. But if like you know you had to do algebra while to beat off. While do you, you remember? It sucked. Did you guys watch the? <laughs> I, hey, I, I'd do it. Jim, I if think you it, got your dick sucked for doing your homework, forget grades. You just get it. You get blowjobs mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. the students. Okay. Oh yeah. Did you ever see? Legitimately, uh, I actually think that would work. Of course it would. Yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. it's 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 basic you, you human try psychology. So hard. What the fuck is a grade? That's an abstract concept. That doesn't work with me. If you speak directly to my human impulses oh, yeah. and my pleasure centers. So we yeah, watched my erogenous <laughs> zones. <laughs> we watched Romeo you get a and Juliet. Your nipples. <laughs> yeah. We had to get permission slips in eighth grade to watch Romeo and Juliet, the uh, Zeffirelli version, the Italian director that made it in the seventies, mm-hmm. and we had to get permission slips signed because you see tits oh, at a certain yeah. point in the movie. Who's tits? Juliet's? You see Juliet's Isn't tits. she like 11? In the real story, the We're, actress was like 18 or something. I took a, I took a history. But let of, me tell you something, boys. I watched that whole fucking movie until I saw the tits. I have no idea how it ends. Nice, man. <laughs> but, you don't know how Romeo and Juliet ends. <laughs> <Yeah>. No. <laughs> really? What, what do you think end? happens? They fuck. And then what? Comes. Come on, you're feigning ignorance. <laughs> of course I know how it ends. <laughs> Come on. Of course I know how it ends. <laughs> uh, of course I know how the fucking ends. Yeah. How the fucking movie ends. I know yeah, how it ends. I was uh, he I, dies. in community college. I took a like history of modern Asia class. Uh-huh. And there was this kid that sat like, I don't know, five seats in front of me. And I knew him because he worked at the Burger King next to the car dealership I worked Hell at. Yeah. He was like the manager. And he looked like fucking... You know, if you're like, all right, we need to cast a Burger King manager. <laughs> mm-hmm. So like, like long hair, but nice. like just really shitty hair. Like of you course, could tell, of course, he was probably stringy. 19. Yeah, yeah straight. Yeah. He's 19, but you could tell he was probably gonna go bald by the time he was yeah, like 23, yeah, yeah, 24. Yeah, yeah. So just really shitty, straight, black, long hair. This like shit smear mustache. You know, awful mustache. Uh, like jean shorts, like yes. mom's jean shorts, yes. and the an anime shirt. Yes, and then yes. Like very loose uh, zippered hoodie mm-hmm. over the anime mm-hmm. shirt. Like that's kind of pudgy. Yeah, a, a body body gonna turn into shit, but not quite shit it's, yet. Yeah, it was shit, but you know, like a kind of a pear shaped right, you know, right, sort of right, guy. Right, right. And uh, he had a, a binder, 
And in the binder, there was a bunch of like anime women mm-hmm. that like he printed out and put into the. Oh, plastic he printed them. Areas. He didn't draw them. No, he printed yeah. them out and put them into the plastic areas of the binder. And uh, there was one day where the the instructor, this Chinese guy, fucking put on a movie. I guess I didn't pay attention at all. In that yeah, class. of course. I, I took like because you needed to get a, a an associate's in general studies. <laughs> <laughs> you had to take like. You had to take one humanities <laughs> class, and I think I failed like four different <laughs> humanities classes until I found one that was like, "Okay, uh, welcome to Primary Colors 101." <laughs> and like the first two months, we're going to be covering red. <laughs> and so you know, this, this stuff that's red is like apples. That's going to be on the test. <laughs> Yo, excuse me, though. There's green apples too. Yeah, yeah what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Then you All right, get you get an A. You get an A for that. <laughs> um, please go see the principal. This is a community college. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so the old Chinese professor puts on this video, and it's, like, about a, ge- a geisha or something, but there's, like, this very graphic, like, rape scene, <laughs> titties out, pussy out. <laughs> Like just you know go and I guess he forgot that that was in there. Holy so shit! So he like slowly goes over to the you know AV cart or whatever. And he's like, oh, I forgot. Uh, don't look for a second, <laughs> you know, and like just like without you know much effort. And so I'm not even watching. I'm just watching the of anime course. nerd, and he's like clutching the binder and like, oh, leaning into my the TV, God. <laughs> just fucking like he has this visceral reaction. <laughs> To the you know rape hard as hell on. yeah, yeah. just fucking my mom one time because we were into like Dragon Ball Z and shit yeah, yeah. my mom to surprise us brought us some off brand shit and that's all it was <laughs> it was rape. straight up rapes yeah. and my brother's like what the and he like clued me in on he was like dude I was watching this is last hentai night. it was hentai but like your rape. mom act your Greek mom accidentally and also it was just at the fucking library <laughs> yeah. you could just rent really? it at the library yeah. yeah some old bitch at the library didn't know what it was either I remember the, like the first time I saw hentai it was like a tentacle. Rape yeah, thing. it's tentacles. It's, so it's, that's it's, the well, OG hentai. And it, well, yeah, and I was like was explaining to someone. I was like, I was, yeah, I saw this weird thing with like tentacle rape, and they're like, yeah, it's hentai. And I was like, no, it was like a one specific hentai with this like tentacle rape no, thing. And they're no, like, no, no. yeah, no, that's just what it is. No. Yeah. <laughs> women being raped by <laughs> tentacles by octopuses. <laughs> yeah. that's wow. just, why did that? Why is what a that? It's because they're a people of the ocean, dude. That's it's so because yeah, the Japanese nautical. are nautical. They're an island. That's people. why you can't trust them because they evolved from fish after. The master race. I didn't know that. I thought they think that they are. The I didn't master know race. that. Japan's like one of the most racist. Yeah, countries they're probably the, the master race. Yeah. If they, we're being race realists, which is a term <laughs> I learned recently. What does that mean? Is it just a way to be racist? Uh, race realists are people that are like, why can't you admit that black people get lower test scores? You know. Yeah, hell yes. Um, that's what a race realist is. Wow. That's like just a, a nice re-brand fun way of, to say racist. The way yeah, all white yeah. is another rebrand of Nazi. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of overlap there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if it's a rebrand necessarily. You know, it's funny because like I was thinking the other day, there I remember ten years ago there like there was a very like active American Nazi party. You know, there's guys like Bill White and shit that were like avowed neo Nazis. Right. That would mm-hmm. go around. That was saying, definitely a thing like, you're right. We are Wait, Nazis. Was he that guy in Idaho, right? No. That like lost his compound? No, he went to Maryland. Actually. He was like a he went to University of Maryland. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, I think he, he Oh, was, he was a Terp. He lived in Virginia somewhere. Oh, uh, but yeah, he was like the leader of the American Nazi Party, and I think he's in federal prison now. But the, there, were, the dude in Idaho had this huge complex, and f- they gave his. Well, I'm just saying it's got to suck to be those guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you've been a Nazi your entire life. You're like, I am a Nazi. Right, right. You're saying it. Sh- I got the outfit, day, and now this know? like a bunch of like. Some frog Hipsters. guy, yeah. you know, some frog guy that loves haircuts. Yeah, <laughs> and like, yeah. uh, well, I'm friends with the president, and uh, you know, I'm he's <laughs> gay, right? Richard Spencer. I don't know. Is that what's going on there? Uh, that's what I. I Probably. mean, I don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit about any of this. That's why this this Twitter thing is great. I know I don't have to care anymore. Oh, because you're off Twitter. Yeah, that's oh, it. That's great. I'm banned yeah. from Facebook. Off Twitter. Really, all I have left is Instagram. All right, fuck. All right, Whoa. Pete. By the way. To the listeners, your boy's off Instagram. Yeah, the you haven't talked about this me. on the podcast. The feds got me. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know what to do, but just I don't know. Tweet at Instagram or yeah, something. Yeah, tweet at Instagram. Let's try get and get Stabby Stabby Baby, Baby back. back. They fucking. I'm gonna tweet about so, something about yeah. it soon. I just don't know what the, they fucking got your boy, dude. And for what? For I don't know. You never showed a. a I penis? never show peen. I never showed peen, so I don't know what the fuck it is. If you are a fat, if me. you're a fat woman, let's be honest here. I am being yeah, I'm being targeted. If you are a fat woman. 
I'm being targeted. This would be a huge this body would be a big shaming. Deal. You would you would be I gotta, on the front listen, page. Get, my body positive the New allies. York Times. Holler at me, dude. Yeah. Where's Lindy? Lindy's not talking about That's this. That's true. Lindy only talks about herself. Oh, of course. That's the only reason to actually dislike Lindy is Lindy is because she's just obsessed with herself. Of course. Yeah. She's a narcissist. Yeah. 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 I, that fucking that th- 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 shitty column she wrote about she went and saw whatever the last Disney movie is like Moana yeah, or, yeah Mo- Mona or whatever like the day after Trump won and she was like this is how we fight back against Trump <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know they didn't make that movie yesterday <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> it took right. months <laughs> somebody probably wrote it ten years ago <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's taking forever to it animate. is crazy how fucking long every fucking yeah. Pixar movie yeah forever. is it's just like so much work. It's like thousands of people. Well, I mean, the level of like incompetence, you know, that like she didn't even think about that basic right, right, element. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and then right, an right. editor read the entire thing and didn't think to even bring that up. Yeah. Well, for those people, I feel like they don't give a fuck what they write. They just like who does she write for? The, the Guardian? Guardian. Yeah. But I mean, once you if you sign Lindy West, you just want her to fucking do her dumb shit so that people, you know, yeah. are enraged. They want people to be having these conversations as much as they want people to think she's good. Yeah, man, she's basically Ann Colzer, man. Oh my God, yeah, yo, yeah. yeah, yo. But anyway, I don't know, man. I hope we keep. I I'm trying to get back on Instagram. It's my fucking life's work, and uh, you put a lot of work into that. I'll be sad I, as I'm shit, legitimately dude. upset about that. So, you know, let's fucking. Nah, dude, I'm switching over to Twitch. I'm gonna become a Twitch guy. <laughs> I mean, that, look, honestly, I'm off Twitter. I have. Just a, a very easy path to being embraced by the alt right. <laughs> I'm a gaming icon. Didn't they make their own thing? They did. Their What's own it Twitch? called? Like Weibo or Wei- Wei- Weibo? Yeah, Wei- yeah. Isn't yeah, that the Chinese shit? No, that's Weibo. So they just basically stole some Chinese. I don't, shit. I don't know. They, no, they have their maybe own Weibo, social me- maybe media. Maybe Weibo platform. is the 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 Chinese one, and then the alt right one is my posting career. <laughs> Is somebody, real name? somebody, somebody messaged me one time. I got this cryptic message from somebody. They're like, "What's your username on my posting career?" I'm like, "What's my?" That's posting a real career? thing. Yeah, I'm like, "What's what's my posting career?" And they were like, "Never mind." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's like, you know what? That's half the reason that people call you Nazis is because you're so fucking cryptic. Absolutely. You yeah. Know? Crypto if you didn't have, it wasn't all weird memes and all this shit, then, you know. Well, I mean, they have to be. They're fucking Nazis. You can't just be out and about and be a Nazi. Well, that Bill guy and the yeah, guys there were the Nazis. I don't understand now when it's like easier than ever to be a Nazi, why they're, they wouldn't say it. Because there's still some stigma around being a Nazi. Now you can just be a regular fucking banker or just a regular ass dude and just be racist now. Mm-hmm. It's cool. It's easy. It's fun. You don't have to take any societal risk. You can just be a fucking make America great again hat wearing motherfucker. Right. And t- it has none of the none of the backlash from like those guys were all fucking no one was happy to see those fucking skinheads, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, not even Republicans. Yeah, those yeah. guys were fucking they, they were scary as shit looking. Now these guys are just fucking racist that get to be Nazis. I feel bad for them, dude. I feel like there should be like a <laughs> You know, nice slow country song for all the Nazis we forgot. Yeah, I mean, I think also a big part of the Nazi is the outfit, right? And that these guys are totally sh- neglecting the beautiful, no, like, sartorial choices. Outfit, but the the Macklemore haircut, yeah, the Macklemore haircut, and the, you they know, wear bad skinny suits. jeans. The suits they wear skinny like cool suits. Suits. Yeah. Also, I feel like I the, that the, the old the, Nazis, the ninety Nazis, were just like. Like American History X guys, wife beaters and shit. You know they were no, no they prison. Wear, those they, are prison guys. Yeah, prison Nazis. They would wear. They yeah. would wear like, uh, you know, they'd wear like collar shirts and shit, and mm. you know, they look like fucking. Cholos. They look like Nazis. No, not like right. cholos. They look like Nazis. They were prim and proper. Oh, and those shit. guys you're talking. Yeah, about. Did anybody yeah. have an SS uniform? <laughs> they would just like hang out in. You ever see that movie Apt Pupil? Yeah, of course. No, uh, that movie's hilarious because I think it was Brian Singer directed it. And uh, the ra- the the, yeah. the pedophile. But it, that movie came out before people knew he was a pedophile. And there's oh, all these. There's yes. like a scene where he's just filming like naked boys in the what? locker room, and they sued what him. The actually, fuck? the boys they were like, "Yeah, he told us to get naked and just started filming us." And it's like we didn't agree to that, but like it was in the environment of like a film set, and like we were under a lot of pressure. And we didn't want to be filmed, and this is like pornography. Yeah, Holy and Brian shit. Singer and his lawyers were like, "That's absurd. It's you know art. It's a fucking movie." <laughs> and then it turned <laughs> That's out it's so out. awesome. Yeah, but no, that movie's yeah. like it's 
Basically, he has like pool parties with yeah. boys. Apparently, that movie's Hollywood. weird because like so the setup is it's like a kid who discovers his old ass German neighbor is and not was a Nazi. He was like mm-hmm. an SS officer or whatever. Like he was maybe I think oh like yeah a, and then, like a, a commandant of a of a concentration camp or something right and so he blackmails him and he's like you know either you tell me exactly what it's like to kill people and be you know you fucking you tell me about it or I expose you he's like you do whatever I want expose him and then they develop this sort of pseudo sexual relationship they never know? fuck they never fuck but I mean it's it's basically it's his way of working out his desire to portray. A, you know, a sexual Whoa. relationship yeah, between yeah. a man a and a boy. And, and a he mentee. Has to, yeah, he has to do it through the, you know, uh, lens of like, actually, it's about uh, Nazis and evil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His and way to yeah. get a sympathetic pedophile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the upfront exposition in that movie is weird because like the setup is like it's a kid who finds his, out his neighbor yeah, is yeah. a Nazi or whatever. And uh, they just run through that real quick in like a montage or something in the first like 30 <laughs> seconds. Of the film. 40 minutes of the boy's torso yeah, <laughs> just yeah. in, in bo- baby yeah, oil. Yeah, well, they had to get right to get, the sex. I don't get where sex. <laughs> so They say platonic relationship, right? They say yeah. that's like... Well, it's that's yeah, like between, f- between that's friends, Pl- Plato right? and Socrates. They, oh, they were platonic. Because I, I would think platonic would be like a relationship between you and a boy that you're in love with, right? No. Did Plato fuck boys? Well, they all they all? all Greeks fuck boys. Not all. Yeah. No. Not <laughs> that's, how, that's how Socrates wink, died. Wink. Is he fucked too many boys and he got boy poison. That's true. Really? Yeah. You can. You can. You can get boy poison. That's why yeah. they stopped doing it. <laughs> oh yeah. shit. Yeah. Um I do love whenever like you see a fucking I love the idea that that the the invention of like philosophy in, in classical antiquity was uh, just uh, guys trying to justify why it's okay to fuck boys. <laughs> yeah, of course. And like, what is morality anyway? You know, what do we think about these things? That is when you're going to do the most. You work the hardest to mm. fucking justify something horrendous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're going to try every, you're going to look at it from every yeah. fucking angle, yeah, baby. Yeah, that's why pretty much every great man in history yeah. fucked boys. That's, fuck, that's why we're getting sucked off under the table by old, children right now. Old mm-hmm. Bill Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did he fuck uh, boys or was he just Nick scary? and I were talking the other day. We were talking about how um, we were watching that movie Barry Lyndon and we were talking about how like they were in this beautiful European court and there were like all these like uh, beautiful like uh, Rococo like uh, ornaments and everything. And they were like, yeah, these guys didn't wipe their asses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when the fuck None did these guys had paper toilet start, paper? Right? <laughs> Yo, you're, you're trying to tell me William Shakespeare is great, dude? This guy had a smelly ass. Yeah. You think they had bidets? No, right? No, of course the not. Leaves, I think. I Where think did they the, shit? I think the answer pots? is leaves. Yeah, chamber, chamber pots. pots. Chamber pots. You just shit in a pot and let it well, hang. I remember I was a kid and I had some like scholastic uh, cross section book. Scholastic had this like series of cross section books, which are pretty fucking cool. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, so you like, there was one that was, uh, I think, vehicle. I had one that was, like, I had those vehicles, books. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then one that would like have a, like a castle. It was like a European castle. I had that. I owned and that. The one. castle. Yeah. yeah. And you, if you remember the cutaway of the castle, they had the plumbing system. Yep. And the shit just goes down into like the dungeon. <laughs> 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 yeah, they just like gravity do it. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, it was all That's gravity. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like we live better than like a king did in this fucking fifteen hundreds. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I got I, Chinese I used to, food. I, when yeah, I was exactly. a kid. I used to fantasize all the time about like, you know, right after I read a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court, uh, going back in time to like a you know a fiefdom or whatever and all you have is like a Barrett 50 cal and an AK47 hell yes and it's just fuck enough killer. rounds yeah and if you could just go in and just fucking you be the king murk everybody kill the king yeah but you can't communicate with anybody cuz they're all like uh <laughs> like is that fucking english they're like yes <laughs> actually it is yeah that would be fucking tight dude but then you got to fuck those wenches and eat their mead <clears throat> or drink their mead. Yeah. What's mead? Well, you can mead is they, old, beer. Yeah, it's a yeah, the predecessor lamb. to beer. There's a mead bar in uh, Ridgewood, Queens. Of course there is. Oh yeah, God. of course, right? Yeah. What the fuck is even mead? Hey, welcome to Stupid Assholes. I'm Greg. <laughs> um, We're I'm, going to I'm mead 46 bar. years old. I dress like I'm 22. <laughs> and, um, basically, my parents have funded every shitty business idea I've had for the last 25 years. <laughs> I really thought unicycles were going to be coming yeah. back. but uh, Well, I saw I really Game of Thrones, and that. I was like, people are going to want to get drunk in this environment. <laughs> I'm gonna have it, yeah. 
So we, we're uh, gonna serve the meat in mason jars, and uh, you know, I'm nothing but Edison idiot. bulbs. Yeah. Why does every place shit. look exactly the same? I don't know. Mason so jars and Edison bulbs, and just shit for the walls and wood, just different it, shit. Yeah, it's all it's all from like a fucking farm. It's like a. Uh, our table is actually a barn door. Yeah, yeah. Or a repurposed fucking. DC was worse at that than New York. New York yeah. has some places that you're like, okay, this is. Well, been people the same actually have personalities years. here. I mean, DC yeah. is such a fucking boring shit place, yeah, yeah. culturally yeah. speaking. Yeah, yeah the it's people. just right, stupid yeah. black restaurants. Cool hell yeah, DC. but the black people are all getting kicked out. Yeah, they're the coolest. Okay, part. they have weird slang there. They also, it's, it's, that's, I love the slang. That's the weirdest accent in the Bama? world. Bama. Is is Uria Uria Uria, Uria black yeah. accent Uria yeah. A V D M V Yeah. What, what, do do DC black people say hot dog hot dog? Because Baltimore black people do. No, no. It's, they're two different. That's Baltimore. It's different. Yeah. They're super different. It's, yeah. Yeah. Especially I guess like, I don't know much about because Baltimore yeah. people yeah, are in Go Go Baltimore club. Fuck Go Go yeah, club and then ba- and Go 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 is DC. Yeah. yeah fuck Go Go. There's a line in the wire where where string goes down yeah, to DC. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. You still listen to this Go Go shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I think Go Go is kind of boring to be honest. Yeah. yeah Go Go sucks my dick. I only listen Baltimore to club reggaeton. music. That's the only music I Sean enjoy. DePaul, dude. Yeah. Sean DePaul's not reggaeton. Yeah, uh, who's Daddy, Daddy Yankee? Yankee? Yeah, Daddy Janks. Second body. Gasolina? Wait, is Gasolina peeing on a girl's yeah. pussy? Yeah, it's peeing on a girl's pussy. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> no, it Someone isn't. told me that was. It was Nick and he was fucking with you. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I think it was like my cousin. That song was like forever ago. He's like, you know what it means? It's peeing on a girl's pussy. Gasolina does not mean you know, peeing on a girl's uh, pussy. Mambo number five. That means when you take a number five. <laughs> Oh. That's when you piss on a pussy. <laughs> That's the number five. Yeah, I'm Lou Bega, and I'm from Germany. One, I'm a black two, guy three, from four, Germany. five. I gotta piss real bad, so open up wide and <laughs> let me piss on your pussy. <laughs> I really gotta piss. I'm a piss on your pussy. <laughs> it's real weird that mama. <laughs> mama number five Rita, was I pissed on the pussies. <laughs> Every single one of them. I pissed on the pussy. Sarah, pussy piss. Yeah. Sarah, pissed in yeah. her ass. They're just playing that at middle school dances. <laughs> <laughs> really got a pussy pissed on. <laughs> oh god, middle school dances. <laughs> so scary did you ever get rubbed off at a middle school dance adam no well i, I started freak dancing at the bar and bat mitzvahs to be perfectly Hell honest yeah, with dude. you because those jewish kids really got it'd be cool to have young. a bar mitzvah themed bar called bar mitzvah yeah that Williams would be Berg. good i've said that yeah shut you up have? i'm saying it well now. i've had well i've probably when? said it to you before no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. it's, this is my williamsburg business idea right. i would i would get, get a, a bunch of mitzvah. mason jars and you put foreskins in them and that's how you chill the drinks it's chilled foreskins and then we found out a cocktail book from uh, 1722. Yeah. Mm. So all the cocktails are, you know, with the rabbis. Uh, a lick of seawater. You know, <laughs> uh, maybe a pinch of uh, uh, rat piss. <laughs> Fuck a dash of whiskey. Uh, six X's is preferable. <laughs> a piece of gypsy uh, air. I can only drink liquor that was featured in Yosemite Sam cartoons <laughs> <laughs> because I am a cool Brooklyn guy. What does mead taste like, by the way? It's good. Beer. It's good. I've had it before. What, so what is it? It's you know like I, wine. You know what of. I drank the other day like because my stomach wine? was fucked up. It's actually pretty good. Kombucha. Oh, I fuck kombucha with the booch, dude. Yeah, kombucha is good. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's I got cum in it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's but what it's, it's, you got to be careful. It's sexy mm-hmm. guy cum. Well, it's it's non cumaholic so it's only 0.5% cum. It's yeah, not but, full cum flavor, but, so you don't yeah, get drunk. You can't get drunk. But dude, I've had fourteen in one sitting before because I love that cum taste, and yeah. it gets you pretty cum drunk if you drink fourteen in a row. I love the idea of getting drunk off, off cum. cum. <laughs> shot, 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 <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Suck my body. Oh fuck. Um, <laughs> that's fuck. Should we go to the mead bar for my birthday? I'm trying to get fuck. I'm trying to go off, dude. What let's go to that do? mead bar. Let's what go to for the let's go day? get kombuchas at the bodega for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> When's your birthday? February. February eleventh. It's coming. It's this Saturday, my Fuck, bitch. Dude, we we got to do something fun. We got to yeah, go, go back to Dave and Buster's. We should go out of the city and go play paintball or something. My or go shoot guns. Shit. Let's go and shoot guns. I've never shot a gun. I might just have a little party at a bar or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. we'll hang out, and then afterwards, me and Adam will go shoot guns out in the woods. <laughs> yeah, we can, listen, that's we how can we get them off the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we that's how American it goes. Sniper that's how it goes, dude. <laughs> that's fine as long as I feel like I'm included and having fun. What a chill place to take a 
guy struggling with PTSD to talk about his problems, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Uh, gun it's, range? Gun range is the number yeah. one Well, that's option. what he thought it would work. I mean, he thought like, it was therapeutic. I know how to kill Shooting people, guns so I know therapy. a lot about psychology. <laughs> yeah, he thought it was therapeutic to fucking expose, you know. Jesus fucking Christ. Psychos. Yeah. Uh, some homeless guy came by the front of our apartment. So he's like in his like late fifties. He's all drunk as shit, and he comes by and he's like, "Good afternoon," you know, like me and Felix. And I was like, "Hey, how you doing?" You know. And then he stops and turns around. I'm like, "Oh fuck," you know. <laughs> and he's like, uh, "I I I I just moved in across the street over here. I'm, I'm I don't, I ain't talking to you because you know people look at me and they're like, who's this piece of shit?" And I'm just, I just. It's because you gotta be, you gotta know people you see around, you know, to say, introduce myself and and to know, you know, and like he just goes on like that for like yeah, 10 yeah, minutes, yeah, yeah, just yeah. repeating himself over and over again. And then at one point he's like, you know, I, cause I, 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 you know, I just moved in across the street, so I, I want, you know, to know the friendliness of people. You know, I'm a, I'm a veteran. I just got back from uh, my service. <laughs> <laughs> and even he like took pause at that because he was like, "Oh yeah, that's a fuck. That was bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was bad. Yeah. <laughs> I just got back from uh, Vietnam. <laughs> he hasn't been keeping up with the papers at all. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. in Latvia and Korea. Yeah. <laughs> I actually just got back from the War of eighteen twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, them British boys sure did a number on that White House, huh? <laughs> White uh, House anywho, down. Uh, can you subscribe to my Patreon? <laughs> <laughs> I do bespoke podcasts. Yeah. Uh, listen, you get uh, a picture of one premium turd a week. <laughs> I make yeah. turds and turd accessories. Well, originally, you, when Patreons. we first moved to New York, we talked about starting a podcast called the Official NPR Podcast. Where oh, yeah, we just, just met homeless guys at McDonald's and let them talk into a microphone <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> That's yeah. not bad. Yeah. Make a lot of money and never give them a yeah. cent. Remember, this is the, the uh, official the podcast, yeah, NPR. The podcast I really wanted to do when I moved here was the... Uh, Official podcast of lesbian personality Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Rosie. Hi, you're listening to my podcast. This is me. I'm. It's really me. I'm gonna just insist that it's Rosie O'Donnell for uh, for an hour every episode until I get sued. That's not bad. You could do that still. That could be pre- yeah, I premium I content. I like the idea also that what you just said, the NPR official NPR mm-hmm. podcast is just humans of New York. Oh yeah, like, yeah, that's all that shit is. It's just like yeah. they find a homeless or retarded guy yeah, and yeah. just well, be- figure out a time when they weren't homeless or retarded, and and that's the story. That would actually be great to actually just steal humans in New York's name and do the humans <laughs> yeah, in New York podcast yeah, and yeah. just get vagrants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a guy jacking off on the train. Excuse me, sir. Can I? Can I? <laughs> yeah, I like hold to the take, microphone. I like to <laughs> take. If you could hear the flapping noise, this is him. I like to take humans feet. of New York, take the take the little like clips, and then you just ch- uh, swap them out and t- put them on like the the girls' bios on Bang Bros. <laughs> <laughs> And then you just look at them getting <laughs> fucked, and then you read like, "Well, my parents left when I was seven. <laughs> Things were hard, but me and my sister uh, started an oatmeal cookie business. And, you know, one thing led to another, and I'm not doing great right now, but I've got my own apartment, and things are looking up." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's always fun. Man, I fucking uh, the. I spend half my day screen capping shit people type into the chat boxes on Chatterbait. Oh yeah, yeah they're always it's great. It's so That's fucking such good funny. shit. Please, I to make fuck with you. <laughs> half of it's just like people can't speak English right. at all. Right, right, right. I, I, they, there was a good one I saw today that was like, man, her eyes, uh, her smile, her nipples, and her pussy reminds me of my wife. <laughs> Best thing I've seen in the last three years. <laughs> Like, Maybe she's dead. What the fuck? Getting is Getting wistful <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. while you're beating off. Well, I just like the, the like how it devolves from like her eyes, her smile, her pussy, her nipples, yeah. and her pussy. <laughs> that hairy gag. <laughs> yeah. I just like to think the wife left him because he was jacking off the chatterbait too much. <laughs> Richard, you have to stop. <laughs> we spent all of our money on tokens. <laughs> I still Bling. think the image of a guy 
crying while masturbating is just one of the funniest things you oh, can yeah. think of. Oh, yeah. When you just saw a it, solitary Did you tear. walk by a mirror? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, there are a lot of times I beat off angry where I'm like pissed off about the fucking Wi-Fi being shitty or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Literally jacking off and being like, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking out? serious? Be yeah. like, oh, come on. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't have fucking time for this shit. <laughs> I fucking pay two hundred dollars for a fucking router, and this is. Uh, <laughs> I'll fix it later. <laughs> <laughs> Angrily on call with Time Warner yeah. while you're still hard pre beating. <laughs> <off. laughs> <laughs> well, I, I use this for work, so this is unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, Where are you right packet now? Loss. <laughs> yeah. Where are you right I, now? Hold on a second. I'm. I got. I'm dialing a number. No, not yeah. You have a different phone that I'm dialing a number on. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Ah, I love dialing. Sorry about that. Anyhow, you're an asshole. <laughs> you and everyone at that time Warner say you're all cunts. No, I, I gotta take a nap. It's a business nap. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, dude. I just I've just been fucking being a uh, an uh, a an LTE fucking data using warrior and just beating off. On your phone? When I have to, dude. I'm, I, I live in Where? fucking America 2017. If my Wi-Fi's down, I'm still beating off. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, you know what I mean? That's, mm-hmm. there's, you, you can, we can, now as a human race, we can beat off whenever. What I want is, you, you, you've seen Wallace and Gromit, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know those pants he wears, the robot pants? Oh yeah, yeah. But those, but then there's also a dick sucking machine in there. <laughs> yeah, I'll just bum, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> just walking around town getting my dick sucked, <laughs> big robot legs. <laughs> I'm coming, Gromit. Eyes rolling back in your head. Oh no, Wallace's <laughs> balls got sucked out of his dick by accident. <laughs> Your ball's coming out of your dick hole. <laughs> oh, the dog has to save me. Wow, Playmation's great, huh? Oh, yeah. How did how did uh, Inspector Gadget not have a pocket pussy? He did. Did he? Well, he, well, he, was, a, he was a streaker. That's why he wore that trench coat. <laughs> yeah. So he could expose himself to children. <laughs> I got a butt job but once but in but 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 A but butt but job? You got fucked in your ass? <laughs> no. <laughs> I got, oh, no, it's a yeah, butt no, job. No, I got a butt job. <laughs> You know a butt job? Yeah, me and the boys. Everyone used to give me a butt job. They told me this is the coolest way to have sex. I was trying to join a a frat. (laughs) A butt job. And this girl, she looked a little bit like Wallace and Gromit. But um, she, you know, hot dog in the bun, dude. A butt job. That's not anything, dude. I I used to laugh so hard. Yes, it is a thing. I used to laugh so hard at that scene in Wallace and Gromit. What do you mean that sucks? I didn't want to fuck her. She was on my bed. You didn't want to fuck her. So she was like putting her ass into my dick. Adam, you got raped. That's right. I was, yo, it was borderline. You were raped. It oh was my borderline. God. Why didn't you fuck her? I didn't want to fuck because she looked like Wallace and Gromit. So I, I ended that. up getting I a butt job. I love that scene. I forget which Wallace and Gromit it's in where like he walks into <laughs> the, the yarn store <laughs> and that <laughs> ugly bitch turns She looked like Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> and Wallace is just so in I love got a butt him. job. <laughs> he's, he's saying she got a wide mouth. That's what it looks like Wallace and Gromit. She had like kind of. Dude, so this bitch pulls her ass out. She was your dick, her well, your dick is out, right? How no, your dick my out? dick was in boxer shorts. I was sleeping in my bed. She wakes me up in the middle of the night. It's a dorm? In a dorm, climbs okay. into my bed with me. What year? This is freshman year? So. Yeah, I'm like half asleep, dude. Uh-huh. And I, you know, you know your boy. Yeah. Sleeps hard. You do sleep hard. I sleep hard, okay? Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. And uh, she just uh, backed up. And she, she backed that ass up on to me she okay. just started going up and down sort of my shaft with her butt and it seemed like this is what she does to and people. you came yeah i think i did <laughs> you came off of that i, you I came might have off getting your dick massage dude, come on in between dude, fucking butt- 19 my man years my old. man fuck wallace and ground <laughs> yeah <laughs> I might. My man over here, he fucked Wallace. You fucked her. I might have fucked her. <laughs> you don't her. just come he off. Said, Let me put my I did it. Well, well, I didn't say I didn't fuck her. I said I didn't want to fuck her because she <laughs> looked like Wallace and Gromit. Fuck her. I said I, I didn't want already, to. Bitch. Oh, yeah, we did. I don't know why I'm lying to you guys about it. There's no reason for me to lie to you guys about it. A but. butt job. Look, this man, he fucks Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, my man fucks. Oh, he Wallace laughing and because he know. <laughs> 
when you get a Wallace and Gromit bitch on your dick, <laughs> and she's rubbing her ass up and down. Uh, bitch, uh, put my. I'm doing a Japanese guy. I can't yeah. even do him. Uh, we need more. We need more impressions. In you don't know what a butt job is. <laughs> a butt job's not a real thing, dude. I didn't know what it was either. But it's not real. My cousin used to call it the hot dog in the bun. He's like, you never hot dog in a bun, that, girl. But that's not. So you were bullying. It's like you titty. Cousin. No, he's like, he's he told me he used to titty fuck girls with their butts. But no, no non titty fucking's different. Titty fucking's beautiful. No, you take the it's, it's titty nice, fucking is retarded. It's now I just want to watch Wallace and Gromit. I'm like, <laughs> I and watch Wallace and Gromit. When they go to the moon, dude, that shit's cool. Yeah, that it is, is cool. cool. You yeah, go to the yeah. moon and then it's made out of cheese. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah they yeah. meet that refrigerator that just wants to be included and they're mean to it. I, I felt bad that. for that fucking refrigerator. He's got to live up there on the moon. Yeah, by yeah. himself. By himself. Yo, you know what's a fucked up show or a movie is fucking The Brave Little Toaster? Yeah. yeah. We talked so- about that. Oh, did we? I think so. No, we talked about Frosty the Snowman. Oh, that's oh yeah. Up. No, yeah. No, it's fucked Brave up, Little dude. Toaster's fucked up. She's, she's Hella fucked up. Uh, Toy Story kind of ripped off their whole thing. I guess that's true. Yeah. 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 But uh, it w- it's not fucked up. The tone is kind of dark, though. It's dark as shit. Yeah. And my favorite is that song at the end uh, when they're in the junkyard and all those cars are being destroyed. And the song is uh, You're Worthless. Jesus and Christ. All, all the cars <laughs> are talking about like how they lived a long life, but they're going to die anyways. Holy oh, fuck. Oh, it's because God, you're worthless. It. Well, that guy, the was guy it who like wrote a that? consumption thing? It was like against like over Probably. consumption and capitalism no, material. No, I don't think there was uh, any kind of deep criticism there. It's, there's no close read to be had. Of, he just wanted to make kids dude, bummed some, out. Some crazy shit happened with that guy. Where like in the same week, his house burned down, and then his fucking husband died of AIDS or, or cancer or some shit. Brave little sister, the guy? guy who wrote that shit. Yeah, he had like one of the worst weeks of all fucking time. It's crazy shit. Really? Man. Yeah. I swear to God. I, I was listening to NPR once five years ago, and they were talking about it. You know that, they're still talking about that shit on NPR, dude. You know what's a died. sad story? Is, uh, is, uh, Weird Al? Uh, uh, I think it's John Weird O'Brien, Al. the guy that wrote the Leaving Las Vegas, the book. Yeah. It's like I never a, sort of like a, not an autobiography, but like a fantasy of how he would kill himself. And then Damn. they brought him on as like a consultant for the movie or whatever. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's all fine. This is good. And then like two weeks after the movie was finished, he killed himself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, but he wrote an episode of Rugrats, I think. And then he was like pissed off because they changed it so much from his initial script. And that was like a, a big bummer for him. And that's why he killed himself? Yeah, I think his name's John O'Brien. I can't remember. Something like that. John, Doesn't matter. John F. Yeah. O'Brien. It's obvi- John I, definitely Bell. something Irish. Only an Irish man could write a movie about killing yourself with alcohol with a prostitute <laughs> and people are like this is art <laughs> imagine if any other race tried to, <laughs> tried to turn that in they'd That's, be like we yeah. need to put you in the hospital yeah <laughs> yeah I'm it has to, find, to be an irish movie. yeah there was some irish movie some like michael madsen irish movie and i remember reading the synopsis and it's like a bare knuckle fighter accidentally kills his friend in a fight and jesus it's like, christ i can't deal with any more of this fucking angela's ashes bullshit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just write something happy you fucking miserable piece it's of so shit funny. angela's ashes was fucking sad <laughs> as shit, sad as shit man. <laughs> she's like fucking that one guy just to fucking Pay the bills and shit. He's <laughs> backhanding her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking guys, just, they, yeah. they don't have enough food. They just like split coffee. Yeah. It's so weird if you compare like Irish, Irish to Irish American, oh. Italian, Italian to Italian American. Because yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Irish, Irish, I just think of them as like this stoic, drunk, you know, like uh, depressed people, right? But in the States, they're like loud and right, right, proud right. of it. Loud and proud. Yeah. And just well, that's Boston's fault. That's Boston's fault. Yeah. And then the Irish American just means that you trace your lineage back to the shittiest city in the entire world. <laughs> Boston. Yeah. Boston, yeah. Texas. Boston, Texas. <laughs> Keep Boston weird, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. And also the guy. Their also- slogan should be Boston should be. Yeah. Don't ever fucking call Boston weird again. <laughs> it's like trails off with a bumper sticker. <laughs> if I catch you calling Boston weird one more fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> you said we're weird. Oh, you also, shit. this guy killed himself. The guy who wrote Bla- Brave Little Toaster. Yeah. He did? Gunshot wound to the fucking head, old school style. Yeah. That's a, that's a big dick in that's way to a, kill yourself. Is a, that old school style? That seems pretty common. 
Ah, oh, dude, that's big dick shit. No, the old no, school, pills. old school way to kill yourself is walking into the ocean. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah. I never got that. That takes a well, lot the, of the discipline first t- to kill couple yourself. Times There's I heard a movie that, that was in. Yeah, yeah. Like the woman just walks into the ocean and the guy's watching her and it's like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just gonna wash up. At well, some yeah, point. They, that, yeah. Take a yeah. That's like a thing. I respect that though. If you kill yourself that way, that takes a lot of discipline to walk into to the ocean. Keep killing yourself there's so many times your body's trying to bail you out and you're like nah. and the waves knock you back to the shore i probably would take what like eight hours to die that way i jacked off on the bottom of a lake one time bottom of a lake yeah. on the bottom i went How'd you under do the it? water and i just sort of i would keep were you already down. hard yeah i was already beating a lot i mean i kept going up for air but i would nice. go back down and beat off and, nice dude yeah That's where awesome. was this in texas no i forget it was like in some How state park forget? Uh, yeah, I think it was a state park. Maybe what period Greenbrier of State Park. I was like 11 or 12. That's fucking tight as hell. Did you come shoot up to the top? No. Did a fish eat no, it? No. I, think I, don't even, I don't even know. Eat. Yeah, yeah. you like barely come. It was, yeah, like, yeah. It was barely come. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. Oh, those were the zone, most yeah. powerful orgasms yeah. before the come. Is it some state park? I can't remember. But yeah, one of those areas where, you know, they like take, there's like a man-made lake or whatever. Uh-huh. They have like a section with like the floaty things around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went out to the, like the far end of the section, went down nice to the bottom thing. and. Had a little J.O. session. <laughs> what were you beating <laughs> off to? Mermaids? Yeah, yeah. You were tra- you're trying to fuck mermaids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I think, I, well, you know, there's a bunch of other people in like bikinis and shit. Sure. Oh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you're 12? Oh, fuck, 12, a, a beach visit? That's yeah. beat off material for months. Yeah, dude. Dude. I, I remember, I remember like, maybe there, the summer, there, you know, I, I guess there was like the summer when I was a kid and then there was winter when I started jacking off for something and it was the next summer and I was like, I cannot go to a pool. Yeah. <laughs> you kidding me? Just to see a woman's body like uh, mostly exposed. You know, I still don't think I can now. <laughs> As an adult, now that I think about it, I'm like, fuck, where's that lake? <laughs> Gotta take a couple dives. Yeah. So were you swimming and beating off with one hand? No, I would just down? like you know just sink. You to the bottom, sink to the bottom. bottom. Yeah, I could also come in like thirty seconds. Oh, nice. Yeah, I I, I would think it would take longer if you're underwater. No, I've trained my body for tactical precision. <laughs> it's part of being a tier, <laughs> tier one, one operator. <laughs> yeah, that's why you wear the kefia so you can soak up all the cum <laughs> from your fast beat off <laughs> session. <laughs> Absolutely, and then you suck on it like a freeze pop <laughs> for nourishment. Yeah, you have your to, own jizz. Yeah. <laughs> The most elite snipers in the world are constantly drinking their own piss and eating their own cum. <laughs> eating their own shit back at base. <laughs> Survival. That's what an MRE Everyone's is. saluting him as he's eating his own turds. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this one. You guys were fun. Thanks. 